Welcome back to MBE. Uh, we're going to do a add to our 101 series. So today it's going to be why is it better to run a 9 degree valve angle versus an 18 degree valve angle. So then when we say that, you could look at this 9 degrees as opposed to the deck at 9 degrees, 18 will be laid back like this, okay? This is an 18 here. So you can see the chamber differences when you go from a 18 to a nine degree. Okay, so here are the advantages of why is it better to use this? Okay, if, so here we are, the airs, the airs, we're pulling the charge in. This is the chamber side here. We have a top angle that comes in here, right, to keep the air attached. Okay, so you have a top angle and then you'll have a chamber angle too. So this, then this, okay? And that's your chamber angle. So when you go to a flatter valve angle, this becomes part of your valve job, if done correctly. Not everyone, of, not everyone does this, but if done correctly, that's what you would do, and that helps keep the air attached. So you have a valve, so you have your top angle here, and then this chamber angle is a completely different angle. Okay. Well, that creates a lot of mid lift airflow. Okay. And this is the reason why. This is going to stay attached here, right? Okay. But how is it going to stay attached when you have to dig out the chamber right here? Because what happens is it becomes a where on the nine degree, when we go over back over here, as the valve opens, we have enough area from the valve to the chamber. Okay? There's enough there's enough area there. Okay? But when you come to here, as the valve opens, we have to create area more than keeping the air attached, okay? Because it needs the area. So this is why we have to dig all this out in the 18 because the valve is opening at an angle like this, not like this. So we can't take advantage of it. Well, the mid lift flow numbers will be down 15, 25%. Mid lift being five, six, 700 lift. It'll just, it, it, it kills it. But there's nothing we can do. If we don't dig this out, it'll be even worse. Okay, but that's the, so this is a, a distinct advantage to going to a nine degree versus this. Now, which one's gonna be more efficient? I mean, you can look at this chamber, you can look at the 18 chamber versus the nine degree chamber, and it should be obvious which one is more efficient, okay? But we can't put a chamber like this with an 18 because of the valve angle. So, you know, so everything, everything is looked at, you know, we have to take advantage of it, you know? The problem with this head, we have to stay within this 18 degrees because of the rules. We can't raise the port up high enough. Okay, so if we could if we could if we could raise the port up high enough, then we could maybe take advantage of more things, and then we could move that valve angle to maybe maybe 16 or 14. But really, 18 at that port height is is all you're going to get away for. That's all you're going to be able to do. And the reason is, if we go to 18. If you're looking at this, the air will have to turn almost 90 degrees. Okay, and as we raise, as we raise the roof up in it, then we can do that, and that's what we have here with the nine degree. That's why this has to be so much taller, uh, a taller of a cylinder head. Okay, so the mid lift numbers will go up substantially up in here, substantially. Okay, compared to the other one because the air is not going to stay attached. So, in other words, here's the chamber on the nine degree. Now, the other one is going to, so basically this is the chamber, but what we have to do with this is we come off our top angle and we get basically just have to have to start digging this out here, okay? Well, the air doesn't stay attached as well. It goes turbulent, and that's why it doesn't flow as much air. I mean, that's the reason why. But it's better to have the area behind the valve to move the air than to try and keep it attached. Um, and that's, so that's what we have here. Why is it better to use a nine degree valve angle versus an 18 degree? I hope this helps explain things, and thank you for joining us.